Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about 3D printed photographs. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach, and today I am doing something a little bit off the cuff from normal. Today, I am talking to you guys about 3D printed photographs. And you may have seen maybe this 3D printer here in the background of some of my videos before, or maybe my other 3D printer in the background, or maybe the other 3D printer. Who knows? I've had a few 3D printers in the backgrounds of my videos. But anyway, recently I have been 3D printing photographs, and it is a blast. If you guys didn't know, aside from 3D printing, I do photography. So those are two very big hobbies of mine that I absolutely love to do. But the really exciting thing nowadays is that I can 3D print a photograph. So I am going to show you guys what a 3D printed photograph looks like. And I think you guys will be pretty amazed because I was absolutely blown away by this. So excuse the shaky camera because I'm using my cell phone to do this, the Google Pixel. Hope you guys watched that video. Anyway, uh, so check this out. And again, don't, don't make fun of me for the shaky camera. I apologize. So right here, I have three 3D printed photographs. Uh, there's two of them, I believe, that are probably fairly easy to see, which are, are these two right here. If you look at this one right here, I, I mean, I know what it is, but you guys could probably maybe tell what it is. It, it's a car. It's a race car. This is actually one of my dad's race cars uh, from back in the 60s or 70s when he used to race. So uh, what I do here is I import the picture into my uh, 3D program, and then I, I can print it out. And you can see that it's... it's has like different layers to it so it's not just one solid layer to it it's all different sizes so the cool thing about this is this this isn't what it is this isn't what you guys get to see this is the cool part about this when you put a light behind it it literally sticks out and shows you everything about that photo so again if you kind of take it you can't really see any detail at all when it's when there's no light behind it whatsoever. But as soon as you put a light behind it, everything just pops out, and it's uh, it's amazing. So here, I'll take this other one. Here's another. This is my dad, and in another one of his race cars right here. Again, it might be kind of hard to see. Again, this one's a little bit thinner, uh, but again, it has a few layers to it, and bam. Put a light behind it, everything pops out. There's my dad right there holding the checkered flag. And it just, it's amazing. It's amazing that you can actually see all of the detail there when you put a light behind it. When you don't have a light behind it, it's really hard to kind of see what it is. But as soon as you throw a light behind it, it's there. Everything is there. It's absolutely amazing. So I'll take this last one. This is by far my favorite one by far and I'm, I'll show you guys the before and afters uh, with all of these of the original pictures and everything this one is a lot more detailed than the other ones I would say it has a lot more layers to it a lot more ins and outs to everything here and it's it's amazing so as soon as I put a light behind it there it is <laughs> there's there is me and uh, my two girls right there and it's amazing. It's amazing the detail. And again, I'll, sh I'll kind of do like a side-by-side -side right here so you guys can see the before and after of this. But it's amazing the detail that you can see just from a 3D printed photo. Again, there's what it was before. Nothing. You, you, can't, you can, can't even tell what it is. And then put a light behind it and everything just pops it's amazing. It just blows my mind. And th these were all done on this Airwolf uh, 3D printer, that the Airwolf HD2X 3D printer. I have some different filament in there right now because I was printing something else. But this was all done on this printer right there. And it's amazing. Absolutely blows my mind that technology has come this far. So, again, this is a little bit of an off-the-wall video, but I really wanted to put this out there for you guys because I was asked about the 3D printer I love to 3D print, I love photography, I love new technology, and I love what technology has done for this world, whether it be 
crazy stuff like this or 3D printing, you know, new body parts and things like that, it has come a long, long way. So on this channel, you guys will definitely find more and more videos just like this where I kind of introduce you guys to different and new technologies that are out there and stuff that I am doing with that, just like this right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have questions, let me know. Leave me a comment below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And then, you know, stay tuned because I will do another video where I give kind of a more in-depth review on the Airwolf 3D printer and talk more about that and show you guys more things that I've 3D printed with this thing. But I just really wanted to put this out there because this has blown my mind. It has honestly, truly blown my mind. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Be glad to hear from you guys. As always, take it easy.